the first month of 2017 threw up some fabulous first looks. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 must-see trailers of January 2017. The world will always need heroes. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've ranked the best film, TV, and video game trailers released throughout January. I am awesome. Number 10, David Brent, Life on the Road. Hello, I'm David Brent. You probably know me as the star of the documentary, The Office. I'm currently a singer-songwriter. Ricky Gervais returns to our screens as David Brent, the legendarily self-deluded one-time manager of Wernham Hogg Paper Merchants and central star of the BBC's 2001 mockumentary, The Office. Life on the Road, which was released in cinemas in August 2016, now debuts on Netflix, after the subscription service acquired the rights for Brent's next chapter. I'm putting a tour together. Let me take you down the quality street. On the Road is where I really come alive. This trailer introduces us to yet more painfully funny comedy and excruciating Brent-isms, as the white-collar worker sets out to achieve his dream and become a rock star. We are going to get a little bit funky, um, probably too funky. Is the lead singer cool? Oh. Number nine, Rings. As the third installment in the Ring franchise, and the first in 12 years, Rings is a return to a modern horror classic. In terms of scariness, goriness, and downright creepiness, this trailer does not disappoint. There once was a girl. No one dares speak her name. There are all the things that fans of the movies might expect. The girl, the well, and the white noise. And lots of edge-of-seat nods to stomach-churning moments which lay in wait, including bleeding from the eyes and some very violent choking. And it's all narrated by an angelic voice reading a poem about revenge. It's the kind of stuff that'll keep you up at night. What are you offering? Number 8, Raw. <laughs> Horror movie hype doesn't get much greater than for the 2016 Cannes Film Festival prize winner Raw, which, during its Toronto festival screening, left an audience in need of medical assistance because of the graphic nature of some scenes. The film is due for general release in March, and this intense trailer sets the terrifying tone. <laughs> It's blood, guts, gore, and out-of-control cannibalism, all edited into a frantic, faintly nauseating two-minute teaser. It's probably best not to watch this while you're eating dinner. Number 7. Mass Effect Andromeda Pushing open-world exploration further than any Mass Effect game so far, anticipation for Andromeda has been steadily building ever since the game's official announcement in the summer of 2015. The second cinematic trailer takes us into the future, six centuries after the events of the first three games, in search of a potential new Earth. They want to fight? We'll give it to them! They're breaking! Keep it up! We also get our first look at the main antagonist, the Archon, as well as hints of romance between main characters and glimpses of new alien races. Despite the setting and timeline, however, all the staples of Mass Effect are still present. N7 armor, a sleek, sexy ship, and of course, Krogan. <laughs> I don't need an armor. I've got a Krogan. Number 6, Power Rangers. We're all screw-ups. But somehow... We were all in the same place at the same time when Billy found those coins. Get ready for some serious 90s nostalgia, as Power Rangers Jason, Kimberly, Billy, Zack, and Trini take aim at a 21st century audience for a long-awaited reboot. Power Rangers were a legion of warriors. You must become those warriors. In this sneak peek, we see the new Rangers just as they acquire their super strength and unique skill set for an origin story and a chance for fans to reacquaint themselves with favorite characters, including Alpha 5 and the villainous Rita Repulsa. She is pure evil. 
Plus, there are plenty of subtle and not so subtle nods to the original show to leave us counting down the days until Morphin Time. Let's go! Go! This is your time. Number five, the Belco experiment. Did you even happen to read what you signed when you started working for this place? Ever feel like your work is getting you down? Our next trailer takes that idea and multiplies it by a million. This clip outlines the rules of the Belco experiment, which sees 80 office block employees trapped in a kill or be killed situation. There are currently 80 of you in the building. In two hours, we want 30 of you dead. If 30 of you are not dead, we will end 60 of your lives ourselves. No matter how much one character insists that no one needs to die, it's pretty clear that a lot of people will, and in a variety of ways. It's battle royale at the water cooler, pandemonium at the printer, brutality in the boardroom, and all-out chaos on every corner. This is a film that is definitely not just another day at the office. Five, four, three, two, one. At the end of the day, people are out for themselves. Number four. I am Michael. I know a lot of you are balancing religion and sexuality, but what god would punish you for finding love? James Franco takes a starring role next for a film first screened in 2015 at the Sundance Film Festival and scheduled for limited release in early 2017. I Am Michael is the true story and biopic of Michael Glatz, a one-time gay man and activist who rejected his homosexuality upon converting to Christianity. I want to tell you a little secret about a great gift from God, fear. I, Michael Glatz, no longer identify as gay. Franco has received critical acclaim for his performance as Glatz, alongside Zachary Quinto, who plays Glatz's boyfriend, Bennett. The thing that will really kill you is repressing who you truly are. That's what you should really be afraid of. Themes of sexuality, identity, love, life, death, and betrayal are all brought to the fore in this two-minute clip for a complex story and hard-hitting drama. We're always changing, evolving, and I'm open to that. Number three, Wilson. How did we end up like this? There's a lot of seats, you know, in this train. Families can be complicated things, but the trailer for Wilson introduces an especially dysfunctional setup. Woody Harrelson's title character has been divorced for 17 years. He's lonely, a little bit depressed, and a little too honest for his own good. My wife left me 17 years ago. No! No! What is in there? I just need to move on, find somebody new. Not you necessarily. But when he finds out that he has a 17-year-old daughter and teams up with his ex-wife to try and find her, his purpose in life is reinstalled. This clip is crammed full of off-the-wall humor, quirky fonts, and a classic soundtrack for a film that promises to be a fun and frank critique of life and all the little things that make it so special. We all want people to love us for exactly who we are, so we gotta make the best of what we have. Man, I think I wet myself a little bit. Number two, Logan. We got ourselves an X-Men fan. Maybe a quarter of it happened. And not like this. In the real world, people die. With modern cinema becoming increasingly saturated with superhero movies, it can be difficult for one to stand out from the others. But the first two trailers for Logan, the second of which aired in January, do exactly that. Hugh Jackman reprises his 17-year-long role as Wolverine, and the latest trailer sees Daphne Keene's X-23 almost steal the limelight. No. 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 <laughs> Holy f She's a scrappy young mutant described as, quote, very much like Jackman's iconic character and her introduction could signal a passing of the clause in what Jackman has said will be his final outing as Wolverine. I'm not whatever it is you think I am. She needs our help. Someone will come along. The clip even throws up problems and questions that even an aging Professor X can't satisfy with eloquence. Two days on the road, only one meal and hardly any sleep. She's 11, I'm 
in 90. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Rising in the east. I'm working on getting you out of here. What were you in for? So with a deadly weapon. Now what you gonna do? I'm trying to be a writer. Oh, my God. oh shit, someone's coming. Hurry, let's get us some. Ah! 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 That casual. Number one, Super Mario Odyssey. Amongst all the Nintendo Switch excitement, fans were finally given their first glimpse of the new console Mario with this month's winning trailer for Super Mario Odyssey. In the clip, we see the world-famous mustachioed plumber jump around a new and exciting human-populated urban environment, which Nintendo calls New Donk City. The more traditional Mushroom Kingdom also features, as well as a host of classic characters and other vibrant settings. And while unlikely comparisons have been made between the new look Mario and Grand Theft Auto, this trailer brought the hype while successfully thrusting a legendary gaming character into the next generation. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.